sounds like straight up proper dog shit. Let's go back, way back. And it goes a little something like this. Oh man, beautiful day here at the yard. We're prepping to go to King of the Hammers tonight. And while we're at King of the Hammers, I will be doing a special little event called Hoop DX. Yeah! <laughs> I purchased a vehicle from one of our producers who got said vehicle at a police auction. Need to do a little prep for it before we leave tonight. And it's kind of a heap of shit and it's got a lot of electrical problems. Dan, what's up? I'm not gonna ask you to do anything. I heard you talking and then I was like, should I turn around? <laughs> <laughs> what's up, dude? Nah, what are you doing? I'm gonna go prep this uh, VW Touareg that I just purchased. Bought that thing? Mm-hmm. <laughs> so we're gonna jump it until it breaks in half or dies. <laughs> I do know it's got a V8. I have already sawzawed the exhaust off from la the other night. Now I'm just gonna go jump start it because it definitely just dies. Where is it? It's in the other lot. Oh, I'm gonna take this hog over there and you wanna check it out? Yeah. All right, you doing anything? I mean, yeah. <laughs> it's like, hey, Dan, you got a job? Fuck it. Oh, hang on. This is my first ride in the old high Sierra. No, oh, this <laughs> since I was a child. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, boy. Yeah. Wraps up pretty quick for a big block. We're gonna go check out the Southside uh, collection. I think I have a car back here. <laughs> oh my God, the old Jeep's still here? The Tesla parked next to the junkyard. Woo! So is this the first and last time we're gonna see this vehicle? Yes, it is 100% getting left somewhere in the desert with the key in it for somebody else to appreciate later in life. We'll leave a map. You can find this gym in the desert. Calvin was kind enough to clean it out. Spark that baby up. There it is. Yeah. Wait, right, now give her some juice so you can. Like a good cold start for Yeah. <laughs> Pretty good. Ain't too bad. Let's start cranking on it. No, the front has zero air in it, so it's not gonna take jumps at all. It's got a little reverb. But... I think that's just all tire. Dan, why don't you, you gotta get back to your top secret yeah, project, man. Go. I'll leave it in for the drive down. But definitely, once we get to King of the Hammers, you're gonna have to take that out for maximum. Per oh, well, uh, now it looks like we're not gonna run it after all. <laughs> maximum performance. First things first, man. I'm gonna tear, take some trash out of this thing. So. Oh, oh, there's all sorts of used floss picks in here. Oh, Yo, oh. Calvin. Oh, fuck with mouth germs, bro. Spare parts, I guess. Lots, of, yeah. Lots of soda and spare parts. Calvin is disgusting. <laughs> you learn so much about a person when you clean out their, sh their shitty rig. Yeah, dude. Shit rig. It's like office supplies. Man, you know what we need is like a Dixie horn. What's a there Dixie you horn? Now you're talking. <laughs> Did you ever see the Dukes of Hazard? Obviously not. Nope. Da, 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 oh. It's the horn they hit before they take off a sick jump. So the other day, when they got this thing, right? It was, he was like, yeah, man, it's like wobbling really bad and it's grinding down the rotor. <laughs> Look at that. Oh my gosh. The brakes are, brakes are still definitely because I did not change the pads, but I did put a new rotor. It's already grounded down yay, quite a bit. But this was the worst part. I don't know if you can. Yeah, that's what you want. That's good. Hell yeah. Yeah, so this thing was like. You play the motorboat? You know, down the highway or just at low speed. So now it's good. So I noticed when we were cutting the, uh, we were cutting the muff off the other night that there's two more gigantic suitcase size mufflers on this thing and they bolt on so i figured we should at least check it to see what it sounds like with the exhaust missing dang man why does this look so heavy to jack up because the thing weighs like eight thousand pounds 
All right, so you can see here, this is a f***ing muffler. That's huge. And then you got cats here, which are also gigantic. So we're gonna leave the cats on, we'll just unbolt this, see what she sounds like without all this dumbass stupidness. Perfect use for a tool roll, taking the exhaust off of a car. Scotto says that this thing's actually gonna be really badass on the track. Uh, he was like a journalist and was doing like the initial test of these things and said it's actually super capable. We're gonna test out just how capable it is. Okay, so we paused for lunch and uh, noticed a couple things. One, so the suspension in the front was like super f***ing saggy. Well, guess what? These ride height sensors were not clipped in. Uh, they weren't plugged in on either side. So also airline was a little loose on that side or the uh, driver's side. So everything's in now. Maybe when this thing fires up, hopefully it actually like fills up the front. Fingers crossed. Now get that exhaust off so when we fire it up it actually sounds like a god dang race car hey Zach look at this wiener that's a, that's a big old wiener man that's you got one you might want to get that checked out it's a cowboy wiener I have to say now that uh, I've been working on shit car and using metric bolts and sockets my knowledge of metrics has increased exponentially I just used to get pissed because I never used metric on anything. And I was like, get damn it. But now I can't do fractions anymore. <laughs> Girl go crazy about a hog. Damn, this thing's got new drive shafts on it and shit. <laughs> Yo, this is a come up and a half. Oh my God. Oh my God. Look at that. Big ass suitcase fall on my face. Damn. No biscuit is. Yeah, just yeah. start it up right now. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Dude, that actually sounds Oh, it sounds great. It's still got cats. That's why. Oh, okay. It sounds good. Yeah. I don't think that you need to put it back in. Spot them out. Oh, look at that. Dude, look. The front lifted. Yeah, yeah, got air in the front now. Yeah! It's a ghost. Air super Straight boggers. Saza at these fender wells. What's, uh, what's the wheel battery? Five by 130. What the fuck is what that? Is 130? Yeah. So it's like the same as a Beetle. So we're gonna go do a little performance test. If it feels like it's way too down on torque, I'm just gonna put the exhaust back on and find like a little bit different solution because if it needs back pressure, we need torque to get out of the hole. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh yeah. I hope this still has torque so you don't have to put it back on. I know, me too. But I don't think it's going to. It needs a cross. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> Mads over there. <laughs> Mads, I gotta drive it to King of the Hammers. It's it's gotta make it there. I think it's got enough torque. Man, it's got no torque down low. <laughs> but it sounds so good. It sounds like straight up proper dog shit. Zero torque. <laughs> yeah, this uh, it's a little bouncy. I would say the suspension in the front, not exactly working. This thing rides like complete dog shit. <laughs> Dude, this ride is so bouncy. Oh yeah, <laughs> which is great because it makes every journey and then- Oh sugar. my God. <laughs> Was that the tire screeching? Probably. Oh my God. You know, if you're gonna do shithead stuff, you might as well do it in luxury. Nice. Hey, okay, we got a car alarm. 
You're gonna break your back this weekend in this guy. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's so sick. Look at it. That noise shouldn't be coming from me. Anything painted this color, which is like, I don't know what this color is. This color is like, I gave up on life blue. <laughs> you got some rake going on here. Yeah. So we thought the problem may be, because all the airbags are unplugged up front, right? Ah. And the ride uh, leveling stuff. Yeah. But uh, wasn't the case, obviously. It definitely, when you ride on the highway, it's like, I don't know what that could be. I mean, it's bottoming it's, out. It's got no dampening. It's not really hitting anything until you hit something. Which is going to be all of Hoopty Cross is just hitting stuff. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So you might, I don't know. Also, well, it sounds sick. Absolutely. Where, oh, where's the muffler yeah. chop? This is the second resonator that's cut off. There's a big one in the back, which that was sawzawed off the other night. That looks like a part from an oven. Yeah. I'm glad that's gone. Yeah. It does have zero torque though now. Oh, really? Yeah, zero. Oh, interesting. Okay. We got, we got new guy over here. Yeah. Polish your turds. Kid, yeah. kid thinks that he could just come and wash his car on work hours. Damn. He does look like a 45 year old Dutchman, but <laughs> <laughs> I believe he's 21. It's yeah. one of those microfiber cloths that we've been cleaning all the metal out of stuff with. Yeah. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Just swirling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's a tactic. It's a tactic. Anyway, nice work. Mind you, look at the, the interior in this thing. Not the worst for a police auction vehicle that was probably confiscated after a high speed chase. I mean, there's a bunch of new shit on here. Nice. Yeah, so, you know, it's race ready. This thing is race ready. Look at it. Going to Hoopty Cross. Boom. What is this? Dude, the face said it all. Oh, look at these. Oh my God, I'm so pumped. Garbage. You're garbage. You're garbage. <laughs> garbage. Look at the offset. Look how weak that is. Man, you know what? Stop making fun of me. Now I'm all self-conscious and everything. I'm selling them. If you want to buy a set of tees with buns offset, link in the description or something. Okay.